Diana, hello, how are you? Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Are you ready for tomorrow to relax? Mm, not that ready because I have to do the final test. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. It won't be that relaxing. Maybe not, not so, so relaxing, right? At least the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but do you have to work tomorrow? No, 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 no. I only work from Monday to Friday. Oh, that's good. So tomorrow, no problem. Yes. And for the rest of the weekend, it will be very relaxing. Okay. Good. Hello, Lisette. Hello, Wendy. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? My day was very stressful, but uh, I I I raised. <laughs> Um, more relaxed. Uh, why stressful? Ah, uh, because I go to the east and back. Uh, my work. And the traffic. Yes, and. Wait, uh, more patience. 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 Uh huh. In in the hospital. Mm. And yes. So very busy day. Yes. Okay. And you, Wendy, how was your day? Hi, teacher. Uh, very nice, but was stressful in my job because my boss had different evaluation for me. <laughs> mm. He said, Wendy, today is the day for evaluation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But I I try to do very well, and I had good control, percent. Mm -hmm. Percentage? How do you say? Percentage. Percentage. Mm -hmm. And for the traffic, terrible. <laughs> yes, it's true. And is raining by your house, Diana, yes. Lisette, and Wendy? Yes, Wendy. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Training here too. Yes. Training now. Yes, in my house too. And I was thinking, oh, you know, the electricity, the internet. Uh, it's Friday. Uh, maybe a lot of problems, but no, it's okay. Mm. Oh, I hope right. so. But... Yeah. I hope it's okay. I hope it's not too How do bad. you say apagón? <laughs> Blackouts. Oh, well, it has been some kind of blackouts over here. Oh, no. But not in your house. Oh, yes, in my house. Also. Yes. And in this moment, how are you connected? Uh, it, it, the connection is okay right now. I'm okay. with Wi-Fi. Okay, so is it uh, the electricity came back? The internet came back. Yes. Okay. Good. I think maybe today only the three of you. I I am so amazed. <laughs> maybe the other people don't come. If they say ah, it's Friday or because of the the weather or something, but we are going to get started. Okay. 
Today, we're going to be looking at a review of the units. Um, we're gonna have unit one. In unit one, we saw two topics, two grammatical topics. The first topic was how to make questions and answers in the past tense. And the second one was how to use used to. Do you remember the difference between the past tense and used to? Do you remember a little bit the difference or no? Diana, Lisette, Wendy. I remember the past tense was the actions in the past like did, was, and were. And the used to, it's an action that you currently use to do. I, I don't know how to explain it, but it was a constant in the past. In the past tense, it was only an action in the past. That's right. That's the idea. Uh, Diana, you are correct. The used to was something constant not one moment. One moment or specific is the past tense. When Jews talk about a, a moment is I went to the party is one time. But if you do every Sunday or every Friday, for example, many people go to church every Sunday. So they used to go to church. It was a routine in the past. The difference is that used to is routine in the past, but now is no longer the routine. That's going to be the difference. Is that okay, Lisa and Wendy? Yes. It's okay. Okay. So in the chat, you can see we have two links, correct? Correct. Okay. So let's open the links. And let's practice asking and answering each other. We can start with the first link and we're going to practice asking and the partner answering. So Diana asked Lisette, Lisette asked Wendy and Wendy asked Diana. Okay. Okay, teacher. Whenever you're ready, you can ask. Okay. Tell me about your last vacations. Where did you go? What did you do? said it's for you okay i went i stay in my home i don't live i no no i don't know remember it's in the past don't oh, it's in the present in the past is i didn't correct i didn't i live okay i didn't live um, I was relaxed, relaxed in my house, and I learned learning um, my daughter. What is learned? to read and uh, no no so learn is 
maybe you know the word is not learned. Maybe you want to say you taught your daughter. Okay. Because learn is, for example, you are learning oh. English. Okay. It's, it's okay the difference, Lisette? Uh, repeat, please. Do you understand the difference between learn and taught? Taught is the past? No. Mm, no. no. For example, part, uh, taught is yes, just is the past, but it's the past of teach. Ah, okay, okay. Uh huh. So, for example, you taught your daughter to read. Yes. Uh huh. Learn, uh, aprender, ¿verdad? Correct. Exactly. Exactly. Y teach, uh, enseñar es cierto. Exactly. That's the difference. Very good. I confuse. No problem. It's okay. That's why we practice. So, in this moment, we are going to practice the we are going to review the units the first we are going to take a few moments and eric i am sending the link for you also that way you have access to the two links this is for unit one past tense and used to okay so the same thing kevin do you have the link? Do you have the two links? Access to the two links, Eric? Or oh, sorry, Kevin? Eric, yes. Okay, good. Kevin, you okay? Hello, hello. Good evening, Kevin. So, Kevin, you have two links. In this moment, we're going to practice with our partner, review unit one, then we come back, and then we practice and review unit two. Okay. okay. Uh, mira, los links, te, te, lo debes de tener en el chat. Look for, in, in the chat, you should have the links. If not, your partner can share with you also, okay? Remember, just like Lisette, make the answers complete. No one word, okay? The complete answers. Okay. All right, let's go.
Okay. Any questions about used to or questions about the past tense? No, teacher. No. Okay. Remember, the most important is used to is routine in the past. But now, no. And past tense is specific moment or one moment in the past. Now, in the chat, you have for unit two. Unit two, if you remember, unit two, we had the idea between countables and uncountables, also with indirect questions. So for example, we had these objectives to use too much, too many, less, fewer, enough, okay? Also, we had the idea to use the words like uh, compare with are or aren't, and then we had the indirect. Can you tell me? Do you know? Uh, could you tell me? These were the ones for unit two. The links that you have, the two links that are in the chat in this moment is to help you review unit two. Number one is for the quantifiers. Much, many, a few, less. This is to help you remember to speak. And number two is for grammar to help you select and choose which one is correct, which is the indirect. You ready? Yes. All right, let's do it.
Okay, any questions you need to? Much, many indirect questions. Which one was countable or uncountable? No. Okay, everybody's quiet. So I think we are, oh, it means okay. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go with unit three. Unit three was wishes, wishes and comparatives. If you remember comparatives are the words that we use like more, the ER, uh, much, many, these are all of the words that we use. Also one comparative was R, right? Is R or is, so something is as big as, this was the as as for the is is for singular and the R was for plural, okay? Let me share the screen to help you remember. In unit three, we were looking at all of the words with, for example, as, as, or to, or aren't, all of these different ones. Let me present some structure now. Okay. So in this moment, that's what we're going to practice. We're going to practice answering questions with comparatives, and we're going to practice making questions with wish. Remember, the wish is, ah, I want, I desire, okay? What is my Im imagination, my idea? Any questions? It's okay? Can you repeat, please? Yes, of course. And we are going to, let me go one more time. So, let me show you my screen one more time. Okay, so here, 
you can see we are going to look at using the words for comparing for example uh, enough or to or as all of the different words that we use to compare remember when we compare we use a lot of adjectives for example big small isn't big aren't these are all of the words that we use that is the structure remember like houses apartment cars uh, and then is or are the adjective and then we use enough or two to be able to answer here are many examples that we can use and the other topic for unit three was expressing wishes i wish i could i wish i had i wish all of the things that you want to change so the link there the first link is to practice comparatives and the link number two is to practice wish is that okay yes okay perfect so let's try one more time let's go with our partners one moment
Okay, guys. Any questions? Is everything okay for unit one, two, and three? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. In uh, today, tomorrow, or Sunday, try to do the unit five test. But if you have problems, it's okay. Or if you don't have time, it's okay. On Monday in class, we are going to practice unit five test. We are going to work with partners. So if you want to try and do alone, excellent. If not, don't worry. In class, we do on Monday the same, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, good. Well, enjoy your weekend. Thank you for connecting. I know it's Friday. Good night, teacher. Have a nice Saturday and Sunday. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.